New York Times. They posed a story up. The New York Times about Trump University. Also, Entertainment Tonight, Extra. Um, also, Inside Edition posed up Trump University up. They had a whistleblower on, <clears throat> on Inside Edition already about Trump University. And the guy, the guy lost $58,000. $58,000 for a false university under Donald Trump. The only thing Ted Cruz was exposed it. That's all Ted Cruz did. He did not attack Trump. All he did was expose it. And now he's being now Ted Cruz's father being called a Nazi a Nazi officer killing Jews. I mean that's just, that's not outrageous. I don't know what is. I, I, I don't understand that. I just don't I I don't get it. It's pretty disgusting. And and Donald Trump gave his word he was not going to say lying Ted. He was not going to attack Ted Cruz anymore. And now he goes ahead and does it. He breaks his oath. He breaks his own word. You no, know, Hillary does it all the time. Bernie Sanders does it all the time. And now Trump's doing it. Like I said, you got. Yeah, I can understand that. Like I said, the three candidates you got. Three choices. <clears throat> the three choices you got. You got Trill D, you got Trill Dumb, and a Wonder Dummy. Don't, I'm, that's just why I'm not going to vote this. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to complain. The only thing I'm going to do is expose it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I can't do anything else at all. I can't do anything more. The only thing I can do is expose it. That's all I can do. I'm not going to vote for this general election. If, if, if Donald Trump and Ted, if, if it comes down to Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders or Bernie Sanders versus Trump, I'm not going to vote. I ain't voting. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. The only thing I'm going to do is, is, is just say Trio D, Trio Dumb, and Wonder Dummy. Because they're going to have all three of them anyway. Uh, Donald Trump said 20 years ago, he said, if I ran for president, if I, if I run and I, and I win, I'm going to have Hillary as a VP. He would do that. He promised that. He said 20 years ago. This is from the National Review, by the way. National Review, 20 years ago, 1996. He told us that. He told us that. <clears throat> and we still have the article. Article still kept. 20 years later. I was 19 at the time. It's just really, it's, it's, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. But we the people of the state, you have that book. People need to buy that book now. Understand what's going on in this country. Understanding that socialism there's no place for in this country. You need to get back to a, a sour nation. One nation under God. Under God we trust. Your book talks about that. That's when you get back to. When you get back to some little basis again. It's not being talked about. It, you're getting arrested for having it's a plan it's a, um they're being arrested now uh for a, a, a explain American flag. That's right. To wave the American flag, you're gonna be arrested. That's a new that's, that's, uh, I guess a, a what, what state law, federal law, I don't know what you wanna call it, but uh, if you display the American flag, you get arrested. If you show the American flag, you'll get arrested. If you're saying God bless America, if you should bring Bibles to school, you'll get arrested. Isn't that something? I never thought I'd live in a country like that in my life. I never thought I can live in a country where where you can hand out Bibles and do the right thing, get it, share the gospel, and you get arrested for it. I never thought it would happen in this country, but it's happening now. I never thought the day I would see that. But now we are. What do you make of that? What do you say to this? Your reaction, go ahead. That's um, something that I don't understand either, Mark. I don't got the words. So, on the flip side, 
thing that really <clears throat> amazed me is I was reading an article the other day where a lady's uh, son had passed away. Right. And uh, in the cemetery, she had set up a memorial right. for him so that she could grieve him in the cemetery. Right. And she had a tombstone made up, and I actually loved it. I thought it was beautiful. It was a heart. And it actually had a bear that kind of looked like the Snuggles bear. Mm -hmm. And one hand was on one side of the heart, and then his head was on the other side. So it was like he was standing behind the... Um, the heart, and, and it was beautiful, absolutely. And somebody had in the cemetery was visiting a tombstone or something there, and they had complained about it. One person complained to the city council, and uh, I guess the the cemetery is probably run by the city. And um, she had um, got a notice that said that they were removing it. And um, I, I think it's a horrible situation that um, that you got this uh, person that is there to grieve for their son, and somebody is offended by their tombstone. So the city said, well, they were going to work with her to change it so it wouldn't be so offensive. Oh, come on. And, Leave me alone. Uh, I just can't believe. Well, what about... Changing it, that's offensive, I find, you know, but they didn't want any problems. And I, I think it's just a horrible, horrible situation. This is, this is kind of the kind of crap that's popping up over this country. You know, it gives me stories like this, and they just keep, they're just getting worse and worse and worse. You know, like I told you, you got a kid going to going to, to, a, to an elementary school. What does he do? He brings by free, he brings up. Bibles to school. His church gives them free Bibles to, pa to pass out to friends and, and the friends and other students, okay, at school. The church gives them the Bibles to do so, okay. He doesn't buy them. The church donates them to pass out, okay. Hands, hands the Bibles out, okay. And now the kid goes home, comes back from, from, from school, gets a call from the parent, the officer shows up, and they try to and they and they intimidate and they they try to arrest the kid right there and he had a Bible in his hand at home doing Bible study. He, he's going to go to he was going to go Bible state. He's going to go Bible class at night. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that the most? I, I don't I, I I don't hear the outrage. I don't see the outrage at all whatsoever about these kind of stories. When are we going to take action back? When are we going to say enough is enough? You can't do that anymore. Hands off. Hands off. Leave us alone. Give us our freedom back. If you don't, your your life will be taken away. You go to you'll you tell you what, I'll send you in a box and take you to Syria. I'll take you to FedEx box, send you overnight to Syria, and see how you like the Gaza Strip. I'll do that for you. You why can't people do that? Yeah, you know, I tell you what. You want to take? You want to take my Bible away? How about this? I'll take you. I'll send you. i send you in a box to uh, 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 FedEx. Send you overnight to Gaza, to Gaza Strip and Syria. See how you like over there, and see how and see get a taste of reality. It might not last more than a few days, but at least you get a chance. Get a chance. Uh, get a taste of reality, and let the families of the grieving of lo of the of the lo of the lost one, let them grieve over that. Because they're the ones that promote this kind of crap anyway. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander, I say. Give the guy what he wants. Leave us, give it, you know, they want, if it isn't like freedom, they send to Gaza. That's what they want. Send to Gaza. Let them go to Syria. Let them experience with the infidels what they're doing. Let them experience it firsthand. Send them over there. I'll tell you what, sir. I'll give you a ticket to go to Syria. See how you like it. Spend a few days over there. Then, if you don't, if you survive it, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. At least you get, at least you get experience of what, uh, of what we have here. How much you love freedom and under God we trust. Under care of the United States. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in today. We appreciate it. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful magical, have a wonderful magical life, delightful blessed day. Thank you.
Take care. Bye-bye.